Hello gorgeous, how are you today? For today's video, I'm gonna do my glam look for my Christmas party this year. Actually, our theme would be cocktails and candy canes. I'm pretty excited. I just really wanna wear a spin dress. I'm not sure what I can find, but I'll dig in my closet what I have. But for today, I'm gonna show you how I did my makeup. I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I just do whatever I want. So don't judge me please, so let's get started. So I already prepped my skin with, you know, I washed it, put some moisturizer, put some toner or serum, and of course sunblock. Um, please don't forget your sunblock, even if there's no sun, I always put sunblock. So let's get started. So for the primer, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime. This is my all-time favorite. So, Whew. so refreshing. So I will just let it dry for a second. So while we wait for my primer to dry, I just want to let you know that I also did my hair, but it seems like... I need to redo it and what I use is just the baby list pro ceramic I'm gonna show you later how I do it so just keep on watching I think yes I think my primer is ready so let's go get the foundation ready so for the foundation I will be using the Estee Lauder uh, double wear in one in one ivory nude and of course my favorite beauty blender so I already like this is damped it's easier so just dab up. This is how I do it. Some people put some foundation in their head and then do it slowly, but this is just how I do it, guys. Nobody's using my foundation anyway but me, so I don't care about the hygiene issues that much. So it really depends on you on how you do your makeup. Anyway, your face is your own canvas, and you can do whatever you want. So... More dabs. I think my foundation is all blended properly. What I do next is I put my lid primer, which is the MAC Prep and Prime Prep and Prime from Studio Fix. Yeah, is it? No. 24 hour extend base from that. I just put it in my hand. Just do that. I have brushes, guys, but I I don't know. I'm more comfortable using my hand. So I don't know what you do, but this is how I do it. Just tap that down slowly. Not too harsh. And I just let it sit for a second. And while, while it's sitting right there, I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is set my foundation with my Laura Mercier setting powder. Sorry. And I use the M439 from Morphe. As you've noticed, I don't really use concealer because I don't know why every time I use concealer, I tried so many different concealers, it creases everywhere, like in this area. Once the concealer is melted, like if I sweat, once I sweat, it will just crease there and I don't like it so might as well, no, not put the concealer at all. Anyway, I'm used to my eye bags. I'm embracing my eye bags so I don't care if it's saying hi hello to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I think this foundation is set. So the next thing I usually do after setting my foundation is, you know, do my brows. So I use M158 from Morphe, and then my most loved contour, love contours all from NYX. So I just use this to do my brow. Not much actually. And then I usually brush it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Clear Brow Gel. So just to tidy my my brow. Just like that. Sure. That's it. And then next is I will do my, my eyeshadow. The most challenging part for me. So I use the MAC 570 SP and the Too Faced Sweet Peach. It's really good. It smells like 
real peach, guys. So guys, I have to tell you, I really struggle um, every time I try to put uh, the liquid eyeliner. So I don't usually uh, do that. I skip that part because I'm not good at it. So what I do is I use a tape. Sorry. I know there's a tape that you could use for doing your eye makeup, but I, I always improvise and I use a regular tape for that. So just put it there. There you go. So guys, you can improvise. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And you can find something from your kitchen or your school or office of life. So let's continue doing our, our eyeshadow. So we still the base. And then I think I would like to put some we use the next palette. Because I like this kind of brown. I don't know what it's called. Um I don't know the name, I can find it. Number eight. Sombra para olhos. So, whatever. I'm just gonna use this as a transition shade. I don't know, I like this kind of brown. You see, guys? It's like that. I just do it this way. You just have to really know that it's your style. So, even if they judge you, who cares? You'll be wearing that makeup, so. This is how I really do my eyes. Go from one eye to the other. I don't know. Maybe it's weird. Everywhere. And then, what I do next is put a darker shade on the side, a darker brown. I think I'm going to go get that from the Too Faced palette. Put the charm, I'm sure, right here. Put the darkest brown here. And then just put it on the very side. Just to give that smoky effect. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't use, I don't usually use liquid eyeliner because it's a struggle. And, but some... Some of you guys are really pro in doing that. For me, it's just simple. It's a glam already for me. And then I would like to put some, just a little bit of shimmer. I will use the drawer, the cobbler right here. That's the cobbler just in, in the middle. Just in the middle right here. I'm using the same brush. I usually do that because I tend to forget to switch brushes, which I don't mind and I don't really care. Just in the middle. I think I need more. In the middle there. Just a little shimmer. Just a little shimmer. And in the inner corner of my eye, I just fell in love with this Violet Voss. Uh, it's in the shade Dream. It's like a liquid eyeshadow. So this is so shimmery, guys. It's so pretty. And I was just really excited for this. So I don't put any... That, that's it, guys. Just that and this one. Just the inner corner of my eye. And I was just really excited for this. So I don't put any... That, that's it, guys. Just that and this one. Just the inner corner of my eye Just need some more okay. look at that shimmery Just like that guys and don't worry that is not perfect i'm gonna put more some like i'm gonna put some of the glitters that we just had earlier 
in the middle like the cobbler just to blend that liquid eyeshadow At the bottom, like my eyelid, I'm gonna use the same brush for my eyebrow. Get the darkest brown just on this corner here. To give more definition to my eyes. Just that. And then one of that shimmery eyeshadow in the inner. Hi, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does that look to you? And then I think, see, it's not so crazy, guys. And then, yeah, after that, I'm gonna put on my mascara. So I use the Nail Push Lash Primer. So I think I'm done painting my eyes. I was thinking of putting on falsies tonight. Um, this is actually from Huda Beauty, but I don't feel like putting it on. It feels heavy. I just want to enjoy and have fun tonight. I don't want to have that uncomfy feeling. I don't know why I always get uncomfortable every time I have falsies on. So never mind the falsies. I think I'm good with that. And, and of course, the next one will be our blush on from our glass. So, as you've noticed, guys, I don't also put any bronzer or contour just because I am not comfortable doing that for me just blush on is enough it's good I don't know I like the drunk blush effects on this do it this way One more. And then, next would be the highlighter from Fenty Beauty. And it is on the shade Mean Money and Hustle Baby. Wait, don't make so much noise, please. And oh, I used the Bite Lip Moisturizer. So actually my baby played with it earlier, so look what happened now. Just ruined everything. So for my lipstick, I always, always like red. So for tonight, I'm gonna use the Mega Matte Lipstick from Urban Decay. I really like it super duper red, so I don't need to retouch. I'm too lazy. I don't usually retouch guys. Once I'm there, it's I'm done. That's it guys. It's not really the complicated kind of makeup. It's just so simple. You can just know you can do it. You can totally do it. 
and then just be confident because it's your face it's not there so whatever they say just don't care just enjoy have fun and go party party so after that guys please don't forget your neck i don't know why i'm really weird i do my neck last every time like every time i do it last so don't forget your neck just blah 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 see guys we have different techniques it really depends on you and what makes you comfortable of doing so just do whatever you want and be confident okay be confident everything will be all right that's it guys and i'm gonna put some of that finishing powder where is it i lost it I'm using my finished brush mm, there we go make sure it will match the color of your face and I also like to put um, the finishing powder on my neck to match it there you go and then we have to finish it with of course the one and the only MAC prep and prime Sorry. So guys, before we end this video, I just want to quickly show you how I do my hair, how I curl it. So uh, as I've said earlier, I use the Baby List Pro. So what I do is I layer my hair like that, actually. Just pin it there. And then grab some hair like that. You have to be careful, it's hot. Oops, wait a minute. Just click it, twist it, roll it. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop. There's the curl and get another layer. Very careful, it's hot. Twist it, turn it, and then five, four, three, two, one. There you go, guys. And so on and so forth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any video suggestions, please comment down below and I will really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!